There is a need to understand visual media and information because basically we're all visual learners. Therefore, in order for us to learn better, visual media should be used effectively. Now, let's proceed to text. Text may be defined as a simple and flexible format of presenting information or conveying ideas, whether handwritten, printed, or displayed on screen. It is categorized into two. First is formal. They are created and distributed by established institutions and go through a rigorous process of evaluation that are usually governed by censorship of the state. Next is informal. They came from personal opinions or views on different issues, processes, and etc. Text as visual. Text is used to construct words, sentences, and paragraphs. Text provides only one source of information. Text, on the other hand, is effective at conveying basic information. We use many typeface fonts or font types to promote or inform in a variety of many ways because they convey different emotions and meaning. And we must be very careful in selecting the right font for your content. Each type, such as serif, sans serif, slab serif, script, and display or decorative, has a different meaning and application. The use of appropriate font allows the audience to read and comprehend the message you are sending. Use fonts with caution in your texts. Design principles and elements. Emphasis refers to the value given to a part of a text-based content when trying to make a point or highlighting a message. Appropriateness refers to how fitting or suitable the text is used for a specific audience, purpose, or event. Proximity refers to how near or how far are the text elements from each other. Alignment refers to how the text is positioned in the page. This can be left, right, center, or justified. Organization ensures that while some of the text elements are separated from each other, they are still somehow connected with the rest of the elements in the page. Repetition concerns consistency of the elements and the unity of the entire design. Contrast, it's the difference between the darkness of your text and the lightness of your background. Color contrast and the type of form contrast can also play a role in legibility. The purpose of visual information is to gain attention, create meaning, and facilitate retention. But how can you create a striking visual? First, you must consider the visual elements or the basic units in the construction of a visual image. Design elements have an impact on how a piece of work is perceived, executed, and used, and are presented in design regardless of skill, taste, or style. As John Dewey said, start with the basics. Line. Often the starting point for all artistic expressions, the line is one of the most essential elements of design. Shapes. All objects are composed of shapes, and all elements of design are shapes in some way. Shapes can live in a form. Like forms, shapes come in two different types, geometric and organic. Volume. The volume in art is a quality or a volume of light and dark of a certain shade or tone. This art element is best understood if visualized as a scale or gradient. Texture. Texture is the way a surface feels or the way it's perceived to feel. There are two types of texture, tactile and visual. Color is one of the hardest elements to harness and probably one of the most challenging to understand. The basics, however, are relatively easy. Form is any positive element we place in a page as opposed to the negative elements we consider space. Principles in Visual Designs This states that the visual appeal of artworks depends on its adherence to principles of design. First, the consistency of margins, typeface, type styles, and colors is necessary, especially in slide presentations or documents that are more than one page. Next is the center of interest. It is an area that first attracts attention in a composition. While in portraiture, one tip in order to command the center of interest is to place the dominant eye at the center of the frame. Third is balance. It is a feeling of visual equality in shape, form, value, color, and etc. Fourth is harmony, where it brings together a composition with similar units. Fifth is contrast, which offers some change in value creating a visual discord in a composition. Sixth is the directional movement. It is a visual flow through the composition and can be created with a value pattern. Seventh is rhythm, a movement in which some elements recur regularly. And lastly, perspective. It is created through the arrangement of objects in two-dimensional space to look like they appear in real life.